Hello, are you little sly queens? Everyone's gonna think I'm Australian at one point, honestly. They're gonna click on my video and be like, actually confused. I get it on the daily. Everyone's like, oh my god, are you Australian? I'm like, no. <laughs> Why do I have no accent anymore? I've come on atrocious. I still don't know how to work this camera. I've had this camera for like two years and I just, don't, I don't know how to work it. Okay, think I fixed the settings? Have no idea. Oh my god, my hair looks so bad. I'm going out with my manager for lunch today, but I thought I'd do a little get ready with me on YouTube and a little catch up. So I asked you guys on Instagram, duh, um, <laughs> some questions. I don't know why I'm being so aggressive. Going out with lunch with my manager. We're going to a place called Sibo in Manchester. Did I just say going out with my Manchester? I'm going out with my manager in Manchester. Um, it's like an Italian restaurant. They do a few vegan options, but I think I'm going to get two starters because I really want bruschetta and then I think I'm going to get like the soup and stuff. I love getting starters as my main. It's just a vibe. Oh my god, recently everyone and their mum, their dog, their cat, their uncle, the dog, the rabbit, auntie, fish, shepherd's pie is asking me if I'm still with my boyfriend. Oh my god, scandalous. No, we are. <laughs> why i feel like i do mention like oh i'm seeing my boyfriend or like i'm going out with my boyfriend like i know i don't film date get ready with me it's like every single week anymore but it's because we don't go on a date every single week anymore like we've been together do you know how long we've been together now a year on sunday it's getting serious we all we see each other every week when we see each other every weekend i need to find my makeup products because i'm just gonna end up not putting any makeup on we still see each other every single weekend because barney works monday to friday so it's just easier for like and obviously i don't know i do i work but you know like i, I earn money so i work mm -hmm. anyways uh it's just easier for us just just to see each other like friday to sunday on the weekends which i prefer anyway because then i know like what i'm doing i can have monday to friday on my own and then friday to sunday with him that's just how it's always worked that's how we've always done it and it just works for us and i prefer it that way anyway still do stuff we just don't i don't know we go it's hard to explain like we go on dates but we don't i don't know it's hard to explain like we literally go out for lunch or at least dinner or something like every single weekend but it's usually just something chilled now and then like every now and then we'll go on like a big date you know does that make sense i don't really know how to describe it People have their opinions about relationships. Like, I remember once, like, I was like, oh, get ready with me. I'm taking my boyfriend out because I was, like, taking him out. I was paying for him. <laughs> Someone commented, like, oh, my God, your boyfriend doesn't love you. Like, he should be taking you out. Like, you're taking him out. Like, ew. And I was like, what? I was like, surely to God, you've paid. What, like, if they even was with anyone i was like surely to god you have paid at least once in your life for your boyfriend or girlfriend like whatever it is like not whatever it is like wh wh whoever you're with surely you've paid at least once like i'm not being funny yeah it's nice to be taken on date and like treated and stuff but i don't mind paying you know what i mean like i really don't care like i feel like first dates and stuff if they're asking you out yeah the boy should pay i'm down for that but when you're like I was going to say in a long-term relationship. Is it a year a long-term? Mm. It's like getting there. But when you're like in a longer relationship anyway, I feel like it should be 50-50. Like, why should someone keep paying all the time? You know? I posted a picture yesterday on my Instagram stories. And obviously, I've been going to the gym. Like, I have been at the gym now almost three months. Like, consistent as well. Like, I've been consistent with the gym. Um for like nearly three months now and like at the minute i'm i'm killing it i actually am like i will hands down say that i am i didn't really think i was making any progress i was like no like i'm not making any progress i was literally saying it to my mum like literally yesterday i was like no like i feel like i'm not getting anywhere with it like i'm doing all this and like i'm not getting anywhere like don't get me wrong it makes me feel better mentally but obviously as well like you do want to see progress in the gym i was looking back at old pictures and i took a picture in that mirror yesterday i was like boom like <laughs> Whose body is this? Because it's not mine. Um, it was very, it was it was strange. It was like um out of body experience. I was like, girl, this is not my body. I was looking back and I went down like on my TikTok and I I did a tanning video like looking back on it and I was like, oh, let's just put these photos side by side and like insert it or something. I was like, oh my god. Like never mind. Like I have made progress in the gym. Like I didn't even realize. Like, don't get me wrong, I was never, like, overweight. I've never been overweight or anything. Like, I've never... Like, I've always been pretty slim. Like, 
my entire life really except like one time in like year eight I think when I was going like going through a puberty and stuff I put on a bit of weight but then everyone was asking me like what have you done two months difference as well go to the gym calorie deficit like that's my main thing like at first when I first started going to the gym I didn't really think about food like I was I was literally just like walking on the treadmill doing some little little weights and whatever I wasn't following a program or anything I was just like doing my own thing wasn't really following a program just like kind of doing my own thing and I did that for about a month so I feel like that month I didn't see any progress whatsoever because I just wasn't really doing anything I was just eating what I want like doing whatever and I feel like you can still make progress in the gym by literally eating whatever you want and like not like tracking anything or anything but my main goal in the gym was to slim down and like lean tone up like not not necessarily like a model physique but like low key you know but like still healthy not that models don't look healthy but you know what i mean like a healthy lean toned kind of body that's like always been my goal like no matter what but i've just never stuck to the gym or like just never got to it but i've been in a calorie deficit deficit now don't get me wrong like when i went on my cruise i definitely was not in it i tried to eat <laughs> as like close to it as i thought but obviously there was i couldn't really track anything or anything but anyways that week kind of like threw me off a bit but then again like it didn't really like you don't make progress in a week so you're not going to lose progress in a week, if that makes sense. Well, you do make progress in a week. You know what I mean? I've been really good at it. But yeah, a lot of people ask me like, what do you eat? Like, what are you doing in the gym and stuff? And I feel like what you eat, I genuinely just eat whatever I want. But I'm like more smarter about it and conscious about it. So like I track what I'm eating and stuff, um, which I never thought I would be able to. And the reason why I never tracked my calories before was because I've had like such a toxic mindset to that. And I'm like, I, did, I didn't want to go back down that route luckily i've been fine and i'm so happy but like since doing a calorie deficit properly i'm like okay this is where i've started seeing results then in the gym like what routine i've been doing actually you probably all you probably all follow her on tiktok to be fair you know michaela like do it for the recall um she has like a program thing on this app called like evolve evolve you or something like that it's like a 12 week program i'm on week five now um and it's just so easy to follow like it's literally on your phone it tells you the exact workouts you need to do with like there isn't if there's not a machine in your gym like you can switch the workout for like a similar one which i think is really good but yeah i've been really enjoying that so it's like it's you can do like beginner intermediate like advanced or whatever and then you can choose how many workouts a week you want to do so i do five so i do go to the gym five times a week i do monday to friday and then i have saturday and sunday off then i also try and do ten thousand steps a day but i I aim for 7,000 and then any more is great, but I try and get 7,000. Just that's kind of my cardio. I used to do like, <laughs> I used to do like five miles on the bike and then like two miles on the treadmill then and weights as well. But I was literally being in the gym for like two and a half hours and I just can't be asked doing that anymore. So I literally go to the gym, do my weights and then just like walk around the block or like just try and get my steps in throughout the day instead and it's just working out so much better for me rather than just like being in the gym for that long because i can't be bothered free to download i think and then i think it's just like a monthly subscription that i'm sure it's called like evolve you or something i'm just really enjoying it because it's just i'm like right this is just so easy to follow it tells you how many sets how many reps like it's just i feel like as well like that's what i needed i needed a bit of like a routine in the gym to like not routine like i was i made my own little workout program but i felt like i wasn't really making any progress with it but i feel like this one's just so good i even i like train upper body i train lower body like you know what i mean and i never really wanted to train upper body like my arms and stuff because to be fair i don't really want like muscly arms like i don't want big arms i just want them to be like tone which i feel like for some people it looks really good on and don't get me wrong like these girls walk in the gym and i'm like wow like you look unreal and i'm here like <laughs> but i don't know maybe things will change like in a few months i might come back and i'm literally like the rock <laughs> you never know i'm just so glad that like i have a healthy mindset towards exercise and food and just i'm really enjoying it like i look forward like i wake up in the morning and i look forward 
to go into the gym. I'm like, okay, slow, what are we doing today? Like, today was legs. Don't get me wrong. Actually, this morning, that's a lie. This morning, I did not want to go because I'm like, oh, it's leg day. And like, leg day for me, I just sweat profusely. That's the right word now. Someone told me that profusively is not a word, it's profusely. Which doesn't sound right. Profusively sounds better. But anyways, I sweat so much. I just love blush. I sweat so much. Upper body day, I actually don't sweat that much, which is weird. But anyways, but yeah, that's what I've been doing at the moment. Um, in the gym, I'm on like week five now. Like near the end of week five to be fair. So like next week I'll be on week six. But yeah, like I, it's a 12 week program. So I finish it like just before my girl's holiday in July. I'm just going to continue going to the gym and stuff and just working on myself but yeah really enjoying it someone also asked like advice on struggling with body image which i feel like fits in pretty good with what we're talking about i've always like always 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 struggled with my body not always, well not always like when i came out of the womb i wasn't like oh my god i'm fat <laughs> you know what i mean like i was a chubby baby but like obviously i wasn't thinking that i was a pig when i was a baby like ask my mom all i did was eat sleep shit and that's it repeat <laughs> i was literally i was probably the perfect baby like wake up eat shit go back to sleep <laughs> maybe like year eight i think when i was like going through like puberty and stuff like i have quite wide hips and like no one else did so it just made my body look a bit wider anyways but like yeah starting from like maybe like year eight maybe i started to like just hmm, not feel great about myself i feel like i was in a group where everyone was quite tiny um and i always felt like i was bigger and then i feel like in year nine i just i lost quite a bit of weight like there was at one point when i was like borderline but not not in a mental way like i genuinely like was fine like i never thought like i'm gonna need to lose weight like i just kind of did weird i know i remember like year 10 and stuff i was struggling a bit kind of like a lot i've always struggled with like eating and stuff and even not now but like last year like before i got with barney like i have always like mm, struggled a bit but i don't really like talking about it anymore because i'm like i'm in a good mindset i'm like i don't want to go back into that you know everyone in their life experiences it like i'm not being funny like i've lost weight and i'm like mm, still not happy you know what i mean you can literally <laughs> change everything about yourself but you're still gonna hate not hate but you're still gonna dislike something about yourself you genuinely have to love my mum said this to me the other day she was like you genuinely just have to learn to love yourself and like learn to love your body like whatever it is because you're stuck with it like uh, you can change things and everything i used to like look in the mirror and be like oh I'm so like i'm so fat i'm so ugly like ew 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 and like saying it to myself and i'm like girl like chill the frick out like stop saying that shit to yourself you just have to be kind to yourself like <clears throat> as well like imagine like a little version of you like 10 year old you and you're like would you be like you're fat like ew you're ugly like no you wouldn't so don't be mean to her because it's still you you know it's actually so weird to think about isn't it that like that little kid is like us it's weird how we grow up do you know what i think i'm gonna go off and tangent that's weird that's weird someone asked me am i going to australia soon girl i need to go to australia i really want to travel australia like so freaking badly but the thing is i just i don't want to do that on my own like we'll talk about more like solo travel in a minute but like i don't really want to travel australia on my own i feel like mm, I feel like it would be good, but I would love to do that with Barney. Like, I'd really love for us to go travel. Obviously, it's harder because, like, I could literally be like, oh, let's go tomorrow. But obviously, like, he doesn't, like, I'm in a very fortunate position with my job and everything. It is difficult and I need to take that into consideration and everything. You know what I mean? But um, I'd love to go traveling um, and, uh, like, travel around Australia. I'd love to move to Australia for, like, six months or something. But we'll just have to see because i don't know maybe we'd just like go for a two-week holiday because it won't be funny you could pack your shit up and leave and then you're like mm, i hate it i want to come home i like them what you know well you could come home but <laughs> you know i feel like i need to go first and actually see if i like it but i feel like i freaking love it like i could do the accent i'd fit in perfectly like you know what i mean it's just great life's great but yeah i do really want to go to australia very soon the topic of moving out though Someone asked if I found my apartment yet. If you don't know, 
I've been apartment viewing. I feel like you all know because like it's all I talk about. No, I'm kidding. I've literally made two videos about it. But yeah, I have been looking at apartments. Um, I always said to myself like, oh, I don't want to rent. Like renting's pointless. Renting's stupid. Like it's a waste of money. It's literally dead money. Like you might as well throw your money down the toilet. <laughs> Well, I mean, you're not because you are actually living some, you know what I mean? Um, and I was always like, oh no, I'm going to save for a house. Like that was always my plan. That was always my plan. But recently, it was kind of after my solo cruise, to be honest. I was like, oh, I just really want to like experience living in the city, living in an apartment, like apartment life and stuff. Like I just want to do it for a year. Like it's just something that I've always, always wanted to do. And I'm like, well, I might as well do it whilst I'm young. Like, I can't do it in, like, 10 years. Like, what if I have a house and kids? Let's not think about that. Oh, my God, 10 years. That's not even a long way either. <gasps> I have, like, a three-year-old child. Mum would be a nun. <laughs> the next call a nana. Oh, my God, that's so funny. Oh, my God, that's so weird to think about. But, yeah, I thought I just, I just really wanted to do it. A lot of my friends have moved to Manchester now. So, like, I feel like it would just be so nice to, like, be right near them <laughs> if you know what i mean like i could literally like walk to their apartment or like you know what i mean and i feel like i don't know i feel like i just thrive in the city i'm not gonna give you a full update I went viewing some with my mom oh my god we saw this one the location was like perfect it was like such a good location and the apartment looked so good online and then like, it looked huge and then we went to view it and it was tiny and i was like what is this like the kitchen living room situation because obviously apartments like kitchen living room dining room all in one if that makes sense some might not be if you like are paying like 10 grand a month anyways um but yeah that's kind of like what they're like this was literally like basically just the size of a kitchen and it's like do you expect me to like get a dining room table in here a couch like girl what is going on and the bedrooms oh my god don't even get me started on them the lighting was terrible it was literally like i was in a prison like it was literally like this the window like all the way up and down i was like <laughs> what is this it was just horrendous like it was so bad we viewed another one that was like in the city in the city center as well but you know, i just didn't feel safe there and then we viewed another one which i'd actually already viewed like three apartments at um and i really liked that one but yeah i'm not gonna say anymore because you're just gonna have to find down and see all right nice little bugger no i'm kidding <laughs> don't ask me again all right like i know i told you to ask me questions but don't ask me <laughs> anyways no i'm kidding but um i feel like some things you just want to keep hush hush until they happen you know but yeah we'll see who knows what will happen in the future solo cruise have i talked about that solo cruise i don't even know <gasps> it was so good i loved it everyone was asking me i went to a tiktok shop event the other day and everyone's like oh my god i loved your solo cruise and i was like yeah you did <laughs> I'm in a weird mood. The only thing that I would say, obviously, like, I didn't know anything really about cruises and, like, cruise lines and stuff. I went with p &O in, like, not school holidays either. So there was literally, like, no kids. It was, like, all old people, which, obviously, it's fine. But at the same time, it's, like, you know, it is what it is. But I'd love to do another one like love to do another solo cruise like i really really enjoyed it I feel like it's just so cool to like see all these different places in like one week like it's just so i love it i loved it definitely want to book another one but i definitely go with a different cruise line next time a lot of people were saying virgin or oh, what was the other one people saying tui i think so yeah we'll just have to see also do want to do like another solo trip but I feel like I just want to do another another solo cruise. So I might just like save for that rather than like, because I was going to go to Greece <laughs> literally like next week, but I'm not doing that. I feel like solo cruise, like a cruise, I just felt so safe on, if that makes sense. Like I just felt really safe on it. Like no one could go on that boat, like a hotel, like someone could easily just like walk into that hotel. Like you don't need a car to get into a hotel. Like you could just walk in there. Like what are they going to do? But like, what are you doing here like you could be in that hotel you know they're not gonna remember everyone um but yeah that's kind of like that kind of freaked me out about a hotel but yeah i feel like definitely another solo cruise is on the horizon like how do you cope with like being independent like mental health and stuff be bad ideas to do my lips while i'm doing this i feel like for me like whenever i tell people that i'm 20 everyone is always so shocked because i feel like i act a lot older than i am like i feel like i just come across quite old-headed <laughs> like 
honestly I do. I feel like I don't really come across that immature. Don't get me wrong. I can be immature and I will literally act like a five year old sometimes. I feel like I am pretty mature for my age but I feel like I always have been. Like even from like 16, like 15, 14, like maybe not 14. But I feel like I've always been pretty old headed and like I've always knew what I wanted. I feel like my head has always been screwed on. Like I've always known what I wanted. Well, mm, I, I did lose my head a little bit like in year 10, year 11, don't get me wrong. But then I feel like I've always just, my head's been screwed on. I know what I want in life. I know what, do you know what I mean? I don't know what this is. I don't know how to describe it now especially like I just love doing stuff on my own like I thrive off it like I just love it don't get me wrong I love like being with people and like doing stuff with people like I absolutely love seeing my friends I love like going to these events I love being with my mum my boyfriend but I feel like I also just love doing stuff on my own which I think is really important as well don't know why my lips look literally look orange they're pink and they're not even it's not even bright. I feel like as well, what's really worked for me and my boyfriend, we have separate lives and then we also have a life together, which I feel like is very, very important. But I would say like, he is my best friend. Like if anything happens, I'm gonna tell him. You know what I mean? I can't remember what podcast I was listening to the other day. It might not even have been a podcast. I can't remember what it was, but it was just saying like, I can't, I can't remember where I watched it. I really can't remember. But it was like this girl saying like, I can't imagine like anyone, like a girl friend being closer to me than my boyfriend is now. Like especially once you get like past that stage. Was it Sophia and Trincy's podcast? I can't remember. I really can't remember. My boyfriend, I'll like, that's my best friend now. Like I'll tell him and anything. Like I can't imagine like a girl being closer to my boyfriend. I feel like Annie and my mom are like the two closest people to me. Like they're the people that I go to if anything's happened, if I want advice or anything. But don't get me wrong, I still have like my friends and stuff, but if anything were to happen, I'd go to them instead. Although me and Barney, to be fair, we've never really like argued, argued in like the year. I feel like we've bickered, don't get me wrong, everyone bickers. Like we've had our disagreements and stuff. Like not, no relationship is perfect, it's not. And if someone says it is, they're lying like it's definitely not if something were to happen like i was angry in the moment i would never ever ever go and be like to my friend being like oh my god this 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 and this and like always say the negative stuff that has happened in like the relationship not that like it's all negative you know what i mean like i'd tell my mom and like I'd tell my mom stuff but even that like sometimes i just i just keep it to myself and i just keep it between us because i feel like that's such an important thing to do like not everyone needs to know everything about your relationship like they don't need to know the ins and outs like it's your relationship like if something can literally be solved in like five minutes no one needs to know about it i feel like as well like it paints like a bad picture about like your boyfriend like imagine if you're just coming to your friends every time something negative happens they're gonna be like well break up with him because like there's no positives here but like there could be but you're just not sharing them like you're just sharing the negative things why how did we get onto this from being independent I really don't know. But well, I've been to literally restaurants on my own. Like, I just don't care. I'm just like, mm, whatever. I feel like we've got through everything. I feel like we've got through everything. And to be honest, I've literally done my makeup now. I'm just gonna put my clothes on and then I'm gonna skedaddle actually because I need to go to Asda, to, well, to the post office and drop a little vintage package off. Hope you enjoyed this little catch up, get ready with me. Don't know how long it's gonna be. Maybe it's a long one, maybe it's short one, who knows? But uh, yeah. Oh my God, we're going to an Italian. I'm so excited. I just want to brush it up in my stomach right now. Okay, love you.